Sorry about yesterday. Yesterday was kind of a kind of a flop in the games. Didn't really enjoy what I was playing. I was like, eh, if it was a nightmare. Yeah, wasn't really digging into it. So at least I'm playing something I actually like. So I'm gonna wait for my refund. And use that money to buy two other games I want. I'll test those out, see if they're any good. I'd love to get a refund on Night Witch, but actually, I already bought it from another source and I can't get the money back. And I was like, it's $11, it's not the end of the world. It's one of those, oh, I took it either $11 on another game, I actually didn't want to pull it. It'd be nice if there was a program a feature where you could like take your old games off your Steam library and like convert them to credit. Like get like any like a one like a once per year thing or something like that. Or like, hey, you can do up to five games, you wanna convert and we'll give you this much credit for these games. You can take them permanently off your library. And then maybe make them where you can't rebuy the games for a period of time or something. Those particular games. So you don't, I don't know, something like that. That'd be a nice system. I would, I would gather five games I can't stand and then just be like, hey, I don't want any of these games. Like, what would you give me for them? And they're like, I will give you t- 10 bucks in credit. Well, like, take it. I'd, say, I'd rather have the 10 bucks in credit than have these games. And then I find some on sale and I use the credit. That's all. Uh, let's play some news dash. New update. Pedo, pedo. Oh, Hot sauce. I think my screens are set up wrong. Oh, that's it. It's set to the wrong screen. to screen. Hold on. I gotta check my display settings. So it plays on one, then I want it on two. So let's see if it works. Hold on. Yeah, I think my screen has flipped around. I think the some reason I think it's my Yeah, these icons were on the bottom. There we go. There we go. That works. Pedo, pedo. Hasa, hasa. Oh, they made a ball cast. 
Bye. 
静かになったね。Sound.
should let her hear the volume off Fabio. I checked it. It's on. Volume's on. It's going through. I can hear. You can't hear any sound at all? You shouldn't do it. You should let her hear me and the sound. Too low, can't hear me. Is my voice too low. Okay, you hear me now? Okay. I know the game, the game's volume is kind of loud right now. Instead of Nekoparo, it's Inuparo. I know Inu means dog in Japanese. Ready? Go! That's what it's supposed to mean.
に連れて行くこと。お手のご褒美忘れぬこと。いつでも名前を呼んであげること。たまには一緒に寝てあげること。大切な今を忘れぬこと。おもちゃはあればあるほどいい。僕の目を見つめて喋ること。僕にはあなたしかいないんだよ。たまにはわがまま許しても。What's up, Shane? Yeah, I already beat it. Beat it. I beat it last week.、Mm. I, I played through like halfway through the second playthrough, but there's nothing to unlock, so I didn't bother. I'll just play with my friends. That's what I mean. Yeah, that's, I'll be honest. I'm glad they added Soul and Jam in it, but that's all you unlock. There's nothing else to unlock. It's kind of lame. The first game, at least you got a secret boss and a secret ending for beating it the second time. This one, you just get Soul and Jam. I'm like, okay, that's cool and all, but it's not very much. <laughs> They didn't put much in thought into the new game plus. So, yeah, it, did, it didn't really constitute,、uh, justify a second playthrough. That's why I didn't even bother. I, I kind of stopped and I, I looked up online to see what, what unlocked. The game, and that's it. That's all you unlock is those two things. It, it's such a minor thing. It, it's like, yeah, they shouldn't have been gated through a second playthrough because there's nothing else to look forward to. You know, it's like, it was like, oh, you get a new area with a new boss or like a new area with a secret boss or something. You know, that can understand that's actually worth it. You know, because like, oh shit. Or maybe they mix up the level, they mix out the enemies a little bit, so there's a little more, you know, maybe change it up. So it's, and it feels a little different. But they didn't do anything. So I have to get kind of a, kind of a, that kind of miffed me a little bit. So it's a good game. It's just, it's not worth through two playthroughs. One, one's enough. Two, if you're playing with a friend. That would be the only reason. Other than that, it's kind of like, eh. <laughs> But yeah, with, uh, with Avi, I play fighting games, but I haven't been lately. I'm not too keen on current fighters anymore. Like, current fighters, I think, are crap. Like, I don't like Strive. I don't, I don't, DNF Duel, I could care less about. The patch was so, sh that patch they brought out was so crappy. It's like, oh man, we're going to mix it up. And it's like, you haven't changed anything. The game still plays the same. You didn't fix any of the problems. You just, it's just more bullshitty. That's what I mean. Like, you, you need to make it worthwhile playing it through a second time. It just didn't seem like it was worthwhile. This one's cute. This little Nekopara stuff. Uh. Not, not, a, not a mix I would die. 
Well, I'm just telling you, I'm talking about new fighting games. Like, I don't like the new fighters. New fighters are just trash to me. Like, all the current new fighting games... No, no thanks. I, I don't like the one. <laughs> DLA Extreme Beach Volleyball, no thanks. Yeah, but, uh, but, um, yeah, for new fighters, like they said, the only fighting game I'm looking forward to whenever it comes out, and that's whenever it comes out, is, um, I told you, is, uh, Chaos Code. Chaos Code next. That's it. That's the only anime fighter that I can be like, oh man, I'm look, I'm all in on Chaos Code next. All in on Chaos Code next for sure. That that that's a game I'm. I don't think Chaos Code next is going to disappoint me because I I've are they didn't screw the game up. I've seen the the beta build. They did not fuck the game up. They didn't make it. Easy accessible, you know. Oh, let's just dumb it down. You know, I'm glad that Chaos Code Next they left Chaos Code's core alone. They they made it better. They improved on it. You know, they're like, hey, we got a good core. Let's make it better. You know, they didn't just oh, let's make it so anybody can play it. That, that if they would have did that to Chaos Code, I would have said fuck this game. This game's stupid. No, but I'm glad. I'm glad they they stepped to their guns, and they're just like, no, we're gonna make a good game. We're not gonna let people like water it down because oh, you know, I can't be good at it. It's like well, learn how to play. Just play the game instead of bitching about it's too hard. But no, but like DNF Duel, they they just didn't care. No, that's cool, Octavio. I just I haven't been like I said, I used to like older anime fighters. Like they were great, but it's just the new anime fighters, I don't like them. I don't like DBZ, I don't like Strive, I don't like DNF Duel. The only new the out of all the new ones that came out, the only one I could say is decent is Melty Blood type Lumina. That's the only one. That one I don't mind playing. Even though I'm not too on all the DLC that they had. I, I don't like the fact that they added tons of FGO characters. I wasn't... FGO characters in, in Melty Blood. I was kind of like, eh, I don't want FGO characters. I don't like... I'm not into FGO, so... You know, that, that's a gotcha game. I don't need to... I don't care about it. Yeah, Fighting Climax was fun. The Geki Bunko... But um, that game's never going to come out again. They'll never re-release it. They'll never port it. It's never going to come to Steam. Too much of a licensing hassle. They, they would have to pay too many companies to get the licensing to uh, re-release it again. Just because there were just too many different companies involved. Like, outside of, you know, obviously Sega can put their characters because it's Sega. But it's just like, yeah, outside of the, the couple Sega characters that are in there, you know, that's it. All the other characters, you're going to have to go through, like, you know, f so many different companies to get permission to use them again. So that's why you have to you have to emulate or use the PS3 version or PS4 version. That's the only way you're going to play. I wish Sega would re-release it for Steam. You know, I would buy it. If, it, if Fighting Climax came out to Steam with Rollback, I would play it. I would play that game again. I wouldn't mind playing that again. Like, I just want all my old anime fighters back. Like, give me, uh, you know... Like I said, just give me, you know, Micro Plus and all that stuff with Rollback. The only, the only Rollback I game I got that's coming that I want is this one. No, most people agree with me. Like, this is probably the best rollback fighting game you're going to get that's fairly recent. That's it. This is it. There's nothing else. There is nothing else for anime fighters. Like, unless you want to go to Strive, and I'm like, look. Strive is not what I want. I don't want Strive, man. I fucking... 
I don't want Strive. I'm sorry. I just don't. I refuse to play Strive. I don't care what you make me do. Yeah, I don't know when the Strive, when the Guilty Gear Exert rollback is going to be implemented. Because they say it's going to be at least a four month delay. From the, from the beta. And the beta was back in November. So it's been almost two months. So and they said minimum would be out as February. That's the absolute soonest. So, and, that, and I wouldn't be surprised if it takes longer than that. So it's one of those, yep, we'll get it when we get it. I mean, I know when it comes out, I'll be back on this game just to be like, you know, I need, I need my fix. I need my, I need some type of fix because I, no, I have nothing to run to. I have nothing, man. There's nothing for me. I and mean, I'm just, it drives me nuts. I can't play a fighting game. That I actually want to play. Do I have a fighting game? Yeah, this is my number one. This Rev 2 is my number one. If you want my absolute favorite fighting game of all time. It's Rev 2. Rev 2 is, is my go-to. That, that is, that, if, that's a, if, if any game I would die on a hill for. It'd be Rev 2. Rev 2, and then probably after that would probably be XX, XX, uh, uh, you know, XX Core Plus R. And then there's other good games. Like, I like Persona, but the rollback on Persona is fucking terrible. They didn't do a very, I will say, they did a really half ass job on Ultimax. Like, this was just really bad. Like, they could have made it really good, you know, actually fix the problems of the game and actually actually make it a definitive port. This port's really half-assed. Like, I, I was disappointed. I, I really thought, you know, I was like, oh, maybe they'll get the same team that did, you know, the rollback for Blaze Blue to work on this one. And it's like, oh, it's in good hands, you know, because they're the ones that did the Rev 2 rollback, and you could show that they actually did a good job with it. So I was like, oh, if they would have just hired the same team to do rollback for all the games, you know, it's like, I would be fine. I would be like, oh, cool. You know, same thing with, uh, you know, if they would have did that with, uh, they could have probably got the same team to do cross tag battle. You know, they, they could have got that same team to do all the games, you know, just like do them all. Just put all ro retro quick rollback to all of them. And you would have been fine. But, no, nope, they got a different team to work on this. I don't know. And it's probably because Atlas had a say in it. And, you know, Atlas doesn't really care. Because it's their IP. They're like, eh, just do whatever you can with the rollback. You know? What's up, Vix? How you doing? What's going on with you? Happy holidays. I know everybody's like, oh my god, it's Christmas. Yeah, we're just, we're just, uh, I'm just going through games right now. Just checking out new updates. That's about it. Not much else. Yeah, I was looking at uh, looking at the new update for Muse Dash. So, yeah, I tried out. I tried out a couple games yesterday. <laughs> I did not have fun yesterday. Uh, I played. Uh, I tried out Dead Cells. I didn't like it. I tried out Dead Cells, and I tried out, uh, what was it, uh, yeah, don't get this game. This game sucks, man. Do not get this game. I, I, I had high hopes for this game. I was thinking, oh, man, it's a, it's a cute, holy hell, Metroidvania. It fucking sucks, man. This game's so bad. Like, it, it's so meh. That it's like, oh god, whoever made this game did not do a very good job with it. 
like he it, it like it looks cool like i was like oh the art style looks awesome then i played it and i was like oh god make this end like holy shit i don't want to play this anymore yeah, i can see why the reviews are like almost getting to the mixed category like you play this and you're just, you're either gonna like it somewhat or you're gonna hate it yeah it's a meh game it's so meh it's like I have nothing positive to say about this game other than the visuals. The gameplay just feels really, really fucking bad. Like, it, for a bullet hell, this is so... There's so many questionable things that this guy did with this game, and I'm just like, yeah, I don't like this game. So, I don't recommend it. Don't pick it up. I wish I could get my money back, and I can't. I bought it from a third party site. I was like, I'd love to have my 11 bucks back, but it is what it is. But yeah, I played Dead Cells. I wasn't, I just, I can see why people like Dead Cells, but it's not for me. It's like, I don't hate it. It's not a bad game. It's just not for me. Like, I don't like, I don't like roguelike games. I just don't like rogue. Anything with rogue, anything that has rogue in it, I don't like it. Like, the minute the game is rogue-centric, it's just like, you've lost me. Like, I don't even want to play. Like, I, I get I get so frustrated with rogue games because I just feel like everything I do in the game doesn't really matter. Because I'll go through it, and I'll, and I'll get as far as I can. I die, because something's going to kill you. Because you're going to run into something that's just too powerful, or you don't know how to deal with because it's, you know, the mechanics are new. He kills you, you have to start the whole game over again with nothing, and it's like, have fun. it's like always playing one life mode, like, all the time. And I'm just like, oh, and then they, and then they randomize it again, like, it randomizes every time you play, so the layout that you remember is not the same, so when you go through it again, it's completely different. So, everything you learned how to play on that level, you, it doesn't matter, because it, it's different. So it's like, oh, cool, I get to go through all this shit again, the like three or four levels that I went through, just to hopefully get to the point where I left off and then continue from there. But then when you die, you reset anyway. So it's just, you're constantly resetting. I'm just like, this sucks. I'm like, oh, God, I don't like Rogue. I, I like progression-based games where you're, you know, you reach checkpoints, you save, you know, you, you make progress. If you die, you go back to your checkpoint. You know, you don't just start the whole game over again. I mean, that's just... Ugh. But, anywho's. But, yeah, that's, that's all I've been playing. So, I finished uh, River City Girls 2. I'm pretty much done with it. Like, good game, just... It's not worth two playthroughs. It's it's a great first playthrough. You'll have a lot of fun. Like, it's it's a fun game. It's fun with friends. But a second playthrough, only with friends. I, I wouldn't play this two times by myself. It just... It, it's not... There's no reason to. There's really nothing to look forward to. So it's just like, you're going to see the same exact thing. With nothing extra except two assist characters. Like, oh boy... It just feels so, like, it just, I don't know, it just doesn't feel like, it, it feels, that feels lazy to me. Like, New Game Plus should be a new experience where it really feels different and there's something to aim for. Not just, oh, it's the same game again. It's like, oh, well, that's nice. I don't want to play the same game again. I already played it once. But yeah, with a friend, I'd say play it a second time with a friend and you're okay with it's by yourself? No, don't do that. You're not going to enjoy it. You're going to be like, I've already done this. I'm fine. I had enough. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and try out uh, the new update for Onirism. Onirism got an update. I guess a new map. It's a Christmas Carol. I'll check this out. Let's see how it is. RPG, uh, ease.
Ease is my favorite RPG. You can't tell by the my wallpaper. Ease is my number one. Basically, it's a new it's a new version of oh is, oh is it oh it's they redid they redid the existing Christmas Carol so the old one's not there anymore but it's just this one now but yeah I love Ease Ease is my number one RPG let's check this out New Jolly City this looks nice. It's pretty. It's so different. They completely redid this whole level.
your English okay? Yeah, your English is fine. Your English is fine. Yeah, it's... This is just one level. This is not the whole game. They, they update this game, like, every three months. And they add things slowly to it. This game is going to be gargantuan when it's finished. This team's been working on this game for, like, like four years already. Four or five years. They've been following us since day one. We're really, really talented team. These are like little bonus modes. There's actually a story mode. Story mode's fun. But it's not finished yet. Like I said, it's gonna take a while. Good seeing you. Good sleep well.
so screwed. He said, no. He said, you ain't getting that deal. I like the redesign. The design is very nice. Looks really pretty. Compared to the original design. The original design was nice, but this is way nicer. Alright, so definitely digging the aesthetic here. I really need to fix the controller support on this game. Like, you can't, uh, respond, you can't, uh, get into certain menus without using the uh, mouse. Won't let you. That's wrong. <laughs> That's supposed to be. That's the last thing to do. New Tails, man. I hope you can. It's pretty good. You can. Get the Lady Bun outfit of the Chromos Fall Village near the Christmas tree. New health bar system for enemies. Critical points. You can now aim at enemies heads to deal extra damage. You can now use the Pixie Dash on your water. Okay. Gameplay settings in the setting menu. Experimental FPS mode. You still have some buttons that do not work in this one New weapon drawing animations. Yeah, let's go get the present. I want the present. Give me the present. So we gotta go to Chroma Falls Village. Man, I'm gonna have to go way back. Man, I'm gonna have to go way back. Fuck. That's one thing I don't like about this game. There's no map. There is no map in this game. It's like a huge like problem with this game. Like how do you not have That's one thing this game severely needs is a map. A map system, a coherent map system with a mini map. I think would be nice. You, you literally have to memorize where everything is because there's no indication of telling you where stuff is. And the city looks different. Oh. They changed this up a lot. 
God damn, they just keep changing everything. They always keep making things better. This doesn't kind of look like the same city. Roma? This is Roma? I really want to see what this game is finished. I really want to see what the finished product. I've been working on it for, they've been working on it for so long. It's like, guys, I want to see you finish the game. I want to see the game to the end. Like, what do you, what, what, how, how great is this game going to be when it finally comes up? But yeah, it doesn't even look bad. If you look at this game five years ago, compared to what it looks like now, it's not even the same game. Like, this doesn't even look like the same game. This looks so different. Like, wow, everything graphic fidelity. There's a lot of uh, stuff in the background. It looks like you put stuff on it and you can't. It'll slide right off. And there's other stuff you can just jump on it like crazy and it doesn't even look like you're supposed to be in there.
I hope, like I said, within a couple of years. It's only ten bucks too. It's super cheap. For what you get for ten bucks, this game is amazing. The level of quality this game is. I mean, it's not the most polished game, but you can definitely feel the level of uh, shit that these guys put into this game. Like, you, you can tell they they like what they. They're not the most experienced. I think passion alone will fuel their success. Like, they're only gonna get better. I like the new pitch shot system, but that's really useful. Fight enemies and hit them in the head. Some of it's really at the end. It's just the bun bun costume. Nothing really else. Yeah, I think that's all it's there. It's just a bun bun costume. So I've already beaten the base game. I'm as far as I can get. But I really want to see the game come to the end. Yeah, I'm back. All right, I'm used to rush from. Like I said, it's, it's a good game. I just, I do want to see if the game finished. I have a lot of hours on this game. As far as the tails one, this one's good. Here's the lights, it's kind of whatever. This one's fun. Ikari no Saito. Academy and Evil has a good concept, it's just not well executed. Air 15's alright. Catastrophe on the Moon is one of my favorites. Carnival of Shadows is really cool. Middle School of the Dead is alright. 
SummerSlam Blast is kind of eh. I want my least favorite. I think the third one's the best one. Oh, and Peach is kind of eh. It's kind of it's kind of a mixed bag with these modes, but yeah, but definitely I think the absolute best one. Oh, they don't have. Hey, there's no. They get rid of the Halloween one. I don't see it anymore. Oh, they I think they did. They got rid of the Halloween Village one. I don't see it anymore. That one was like one of the one of the first ones they brought out, and that was really fun. You probably scrapped it. Problem is, they keep making revisions of all of them. They get rid of the old ones. And it's like some of the old ones are actually pretty fun. I had to ask them about that. Like, hey, how can you keep getting rid of the old ones? shouldn't get rid of the old ones. At least move them somewhere. It could be an oversight. Or they're redoing it. Could be the ones that they're old ones they're doing a coat of touch up so they look better. They shouldn't be like holiday specific because this isn't an online game. Kind of There's also music that's tied to those events that you're never going to hear again. Yeah. Update's good. I like the update. I do like the update. Kind of fun. Now for the main event. Burn out slain. See how this game is. If it's anything like Cat Lady, I love it. Let's see if it's any good. Let's see. Let's see. House. Probably tomorrow I'll probably try out that new um, that bullet hell game I was going to give the snake bullet hell because it looked kind of interesting. Let's see what this game is about. It's gonna, is this one going to be better than Cat Lady? Lady of the Pretty Tall Order. and some that will be a completely new experience. We sincerely hope that all of you will find something fresh and exciting that's probably our biggest game to date. We've had so much fun making it for the first time as a real team. Burn House Lady, Burn House Lane, which started as the Cat Lady 2, and in time turned into its own separate story, is entirely made by two people. Being self-published, will heavily relied on word of mouth. 
So if you liked it, tell your friends about it. Review it, stream it. It helps more than you think. Most of all, we hope you enjoy the game as always. We'll see you at the next one. Man, two people made this game? Two people. Two people. <laughs> wow. That's like, man, dude. Like, when I see shit like that, it's so, like, it's so heartwarming and it's broad inspiring. It makes me just want to play your game. Like, man, let me see what you can do. It's like, damn, man, what's up? Man. Look these indie developers, you know. I just make the shit. I think this game, I don't remember right. I think this is an older couple, I think, maybe. I don't know. I thought I saw a video where, like, I saw the, the two people that made this game and there was a wife and husband. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Don't quote me on it. But yeah, that to me is passion. Alright, let's give it a shot. Save off and be cautious. And maybe we'll kill you with a single hit. So we think twice before you say or do something. Your choices have consequences that cannot be undone. For the best experience, play with the controller and headphones. Let's do this. It's Tracy from the agency. I have good news. A job's come up, and it's a big one, just like you wanted. It's a long drive, southwest, right in the middle of bloody nowhere. But it's just one elderly gentleman living on a farm. Early dementia symptoms, so it's all pretty standard. You'll need to do some light cooking, but nothing too crazy. You know the drill. His regular carer's off sick, and they need someone to keep an eye on the poor chap until she gets back. I'd go myself. It sounds like a lovely holiday in the country, but, you know, kids and I'm stuck in the office, as always. But you'll love it there. I'm sure you will. Uh, Angie? I can't. Something's come up. I'm sorry. Oh man. Yep. Our first our first objective in the game is to kill ourselves. Lovely. Oh man. Well, this got dark real fast. Let me see if I can save her. 
can I? Choice right off the bat. Like you want to be a, a total mean person and end somebody's life? Should you fight it and potentially put her in more suffering? two months have been the best months of my life will you marry me a nurse falling in love with a patient god no marrying a dying man I never understood why she did it Japan are you kidding me of course I want to go it, it's only like the best place on earth. I'm afraid the patient is not responding to the treatment. We should start planning palliative care. April. That's perfect. We're going to see the cherry blossoms. James really shouldn't be traveling in his current condition. I'm sorry, but I can't allow it. It's all right. We'll go once I'm done with this fucking keeper. Angie. I'm sorry. He was... James was a great guy. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry for your loss. <coughs> it's a nasty cop, Angie. Should go have that looked at. Are you okay? You look a bit pale. Everyone looks sorry for her, but no one really said anything. I have bad news, Mrs. Webber. Worst, I'm afraid. It's lung cancer. Late stages. But didn't her husband die of cancer last year? Both of them? What are the odds? Maybe if we found it sooner, 
But at this point, it's so far gone, there's nothing we can do. I'm sorry, Mrs. Weber. We cannot cure your cancer. You have about six months left to pass. Tracy, I've changed my mind. I'll take that job. That's great. I'll be honest. I thought people would fight each other over those few weeks in Devon, but guess what? Nobody wants to go. The clean country air, the double pay. I mean, what's not to like? But it's all right. I've got my best nurse on the job now. It's all good. I, I know things have been hard for you. I'm glad you've changed your mind. It'll be good for you to go out there and, um... Tracy, this is probably my last job. I just need to save up some money and then... I want to travel for a bit. Go to Japan. See the cherry blossoms. Well, okay. You've not had a holiday abroad for years. By all means, go. But you'll be back, right? I'll let you know when I get back home. Bye. You must be Angie then. Come in, come in. Oh, you're a lifesaver. Dad's regular carer was in a car accident recently. Nothing life-threatening. But she's had some pins and screws put in her knee and it'll be months before she can get back to work. Now, I would have loved to take Dad with me to the city. I could have him close to where I work. I'd look after him myself. But he won't have it, the stubborn old fool that he is. Still, he's lived in this house his whole life. He was born just there in the other room. He might as well spend what time he has left here on the farm where he's happy, right? Yes. It's a beautiful place, indeed. It is. I can appreciate it more now. But to be honest, for a young girl growing up here wasn't exactly exciting. Not everyone was born to be a farmer, right? You should meet Dad. Come with me. He's in the lounge. After you. She's gonna look after you until Joyce gets back. Hello, dear. Hi. Oh, sorry, that's from the office. I should take it.
Hello? Hi, Sam. No, I shan't be long. I'm just showing the house to that new nurse. I'll be back before five, half past tops. Ugh, I know. He always does that. Yeah. See you soon. Ta-ta! Oh, I'm really strapped for time today, I'm afraid. I'll just explain everything quickly and leave you to it. I'll need you to cook for George. He prefers the good old classics, nothing too complicated. The truth is, he just eats sandwiches every day if he could. But don't let him do that. I'll leave you a list of his favorite meals. Anything that's there, just help yourself. Here's Dad's bedroom. He might occasionally need help with this or that, but on most days he still manages to dress on his own. And here's the bathroom he uses. Again, just watch him to make sure he doesn't slip on the tiles and break his hip or something. Dad likes to be called George. You can take him for a walk sometimes if the weather's okay, but he prefers to spend most of the day here watching TV. That means you'll have plenty of time left for yourself. There's lots of old books in the house if you ever get bored, and an old computer in the office. But I'm not sure if it works. And finally, my old bedroom. That's your space now, so make yourself at home. Just don't let the cats in. They get too cozy indoors and they never want to leave. <laughs> Hello? I've left a little guidebook on the kitchen table for you. Make sure to check it every now and then, you know, when you get stumped. And please, keep a close eye on George. I know he seems fine most of the time, but he does have his moments.
Anything good on the telly? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's uh, one of those um, American films. Ah, right. You hungry? Well, I don't know. Oh, I, uh, I suppose I could always do with a nice sandwich if you have one. Fancy a cup of tea? Oh, you just add one, thank you. Would you like a blanket? Well, that's very sweet of you, dear. But no, thank you. I'm quite warm. Wanna go for a walk? Oh. It's a bit windy, isn't it? I suppose. Oh, I think I'll give it a miss, if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. A strange sandwich? How is that strange? How is that strange? Mayonnaise. It's, <laughs> that is not strange. You have to spread. Let's try BLT again. So, bacon, lettuce, tomato.
Let me know if you need anything, yeah? Uh, right, old dear. <laughs> Will do.
seen any signs for the last three days. Time for bed. Night night, my dear. Good night, George. Oh, I almost forgot to thank you for that sandwich. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> You're welcome. Joyce never makes him like that. It's always <laughs> porridge or pasta or bloody marmalade on toast. She just won't listen. If you're still here come winter time, I'll buy you an orange for Christmas. Hello again, little one. It's all right. You don't have to be afraid of me. I don't bite. Not running away this time. Good. You know I wouldn't hurt you, my little furry friend. I love cats. In fact, if I wasn't fucking and dying of cancer, I'd probably get a dozen cats to live with me. People would call me a crazy cat lady, but I just wouldn't give a shit. I'm very curious about that key on your neck. What's it for? Would you mind if I borrowed it? Ah! Kitty? Don't leave me alone down here. Do we really want to play hide and seek? Come on, Kitty. Where are you? There you are. Are you trying to tell me something, Kitty? Maybe you're hungry. Should I get you some food? It's all right. It's all right, Kitty.
What's so interesting about this old cage? It's all right, Kitty. Are you friends with these rodents? Is that why you brought me here? Rest in peace, old guys. Two lovers sleeping forever in a shared grave. I wish I was this lucky. I'll probably just have worms with me in the coffin, munching on my carcass. And spiders. Horrible fucking spiders. God damn it. I'm really not ready for any of this. This shouldn't be happening. I don't want to die. I'm telling you this because you're a cat. And cats know about these things. Thank you, darling.
the path to burn house slowly. The blue sky, your lucky whisper. I am only afraid of dying because I have to live to it. The reptile gaze falls, apart, falls upon the skirt. Is this the end? Is this the end? I'm only afraid of dying because I haven't lived yet. Pray to the gods at the altar of the sun, I give myself to you. Blue sky above. I'm only afraid of dying because I haven't lived yet. Is this the end? I'm 
only afraid of dying because I haven't lived yet. I'm only afraid of dying because I haven't lived yet. Is this the end? I give myself to you.
I can't have the gold. This is similar. Is this the end? I give myself to you. This is the end. I give myself to you. This is the end. I give myself to you.
I'm only afraid of dying because I haven't lived yet. Is this the end? Is this the end? I give myself to you.
Hello? Yes, yes, hello. I know you're in a hurry, but please, I'm almost done here. I'll be with you as soon as I finish this last portion. You, a smoker? Fancy a smoke while you wait. Go ahead, that ashtray is there for a reason. You want me to smoke in a restaurant? I really wouldn't go as far as calling it a restaurant, darling. <laughs> Actually, you know what? A cigarette sounds great. I will have one. That's all right. Done? No. How may I help you? Is there someone in your basement? Yes, well spotted. It's Ruby, my girlfriend. She's always there. She's, um, making some strange noises. She just gets a bit agitated when she's hungry, that's all. But now that she's fed, it should stop soon. Well, for a couple of hours anyway. She has quite an appetite for a girl. I know. We're already on a third roll of meat today. Where does it all go? So she just sits down there eating kebabs all day. Yes, she does enjoy my donut kebab quite a bit. All my girls do. We have a strict feeding routine here that brings real results. That's what they sign up for, and that's what they get. No fooling around with bread or salad. Just the good old meat. Are those chains? Is she chained to the wall? Of course she is. Safety first. That's my motto. You can't do that. No, see, you don't understand. It's all mutually agreed. It's all good. She actually signed a form letting me do that. Wanna see? Um, maybe later? I know, it looks a bit odd. But I've been doing this for a while. And trust me, the chains are necessary. Especially since the Destiny incident. Oh, Destiny. I'll never forgive myself for that. Well, uh, as long as she's okay down there. She's more than okay. That basement is probably the safest place on Burnhouse Lane, if you ask me. That's why I don't go out so much anymore. But what do I know? Don't mind me. I'm just a guy who makes kebabs. <laughs> Burnhouse Lane. How did I end up here? Judging by the smell, you crawled out of the sewer. No offense. But I was in a house in the countryside. No cities around for miles. Just hills and fields. And then... Listen, I don't want to be rude, but that's just none of my business. Occasionally people like you stop by this place. They always ask questions, try to understand. They say, where are we? Where's everyone else? Why me? But I don't have any answers, and I'm not even interested in finding them. I'm just a kebab guy from Burnhouse Lane, and for $5.99, I'll make you a nice donut kebab. Do you want one? I'll eat when I get home. What's your name? Darling, I'm just an ordinary kebab guy. You really want the bother of remembering my name? No, you're right. I've got enough on my mind. 
You mentioned someone called Destiny. Who's that? Destiny. She was... She was the love of my life. Lived down in the basement, same as Ruby now. But Destiny... Oh, Destiny... Made my heart beat like a drum. You know, boom, tada boom, tada boom. So special. So beautiful. So big! She was able to eat twice the meat other girls could. But then one day... Let me guess. She ate too much and exploded. No, no. She got so big and strong that one day she just smashed the hatch, climbed the fuck out, and went for me like a raging bull. I believe her intention was to consume me, like a delicious morsel. So anyway, she surely would have torn me to pieces if I hadn't crawled in the freezer to hide from her. Then she left, and I've not seen her again. It's kind of your own fault. It's all these kebabs. I'm not surprised she'd lost her mind. You don't understand. She loved it. She begged me to feed her. But by the end, I wasn't able to satisfy her cravings for meat anymore. It was never enough, and she was always hungry. What do you think will happen to her now? She roams the park nearby. I hear screaming sometimes, late at night. That's her, feeding on some unlucky passers-by. My poor darling Destiny. There's not much of humanity left in her, if any at all. So there are other people, like me, who found this place? I see them sometimes, not very often. It's funny, but you all smell the same. No offense. What do you mean? Funny. Smell of what? Sickness. Well, I'm not staying here. How do I get back? You sure you want to go? I could put you up with Ruby. She won't mind. That's very kind of you, but... There's someone at home who I'm supposed to be watching right now. He might get in trouble if I'm not back before dawn. I see. Well, I won't stop you then. But hey, I just remembered something that might help you. Last week, I heard cats making noise over at the old clock museum. And... Cats know things we don't. They're the only ones who can slip in and out of Burnhouse Lane whenever they want. Okay, I'll try the clock museum. How do I get there? <laughs> That's the problem, you see. You just can't get there anymore. Why not? Remember when I told you about Destiny? How she roams the park? Well, that's where the clock museum is. Right there on her feeding grounds. What if I decided to go to the park? I went past it earlier. I'm pretty sure the gate was locked. That gate's always locked, but there's a way in through the public toilets. They're right next to the park. You can take the toilet's key. There. Just bring it back later. I'll need it for the customers. And if you see Destiny, just run. She's strong, she's aggressive, but she's also clumsy. You can dodge her if you're swift enough, but if she grabs you... I won't let her grab me. Good. I'd be sad to see her pretty face turned into Lachmajun. I guess it's time to make my destiny. I've just noticed on Steam, I have very, very, very few friends. Yeah, I'm just like, oh. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I only got like six friends, and I just I had them. I spent out a lot of my trip on. Yeah. It's a way to keep in touch with people. I don't really talk to a lot of people.
Yeah, well, yeah, me neither. I never use it for for any kind of social media thing. So it's like it's just there to play games, and all. Of course, I have to with have so many coworkers, and that when I said even he just bought the aliens game. It's a true alien's game, so it's an experience. Good luck in the park, skinny lady. Good luck in the park. Good luck in the...
the gate. Hello? Who are you? Can you let me out? Charles locked me in here. He was going to get help, but he didn't make it. She got him. She fucking ate him. Like an animal. I saw it all. Through this hall. God fucking damn it. Who are you? I'm... What does it matter? Anymore. Who killed your friend? She did this. We we were in the park. It was pitch black. And then we heard those loud footsteps. And the gurgling. So we ran here. Charles was going to get help, but he never made it out. After that, I've just sat here waiting for someone to save me. Where's the key? Charles had it. I'm pretty sure he hid it in his chest pocket. In that case, assuming Charles is the guy in the back room with his guts out, the key must be in his murderous stomach. Along with Charles's liver and kidneys. No. Shit, no. I must get it back. I don't... 
I can't be here anymore. But what can I do? You want me to wait for her to shit it out? Although, on my way here, I did hear some strange noises coming from the toilet stall. What if that was her? I don't know. Just do something. Anything. Just kill her and rip the key out of her fucking stomach. I don't care. Okay. I'll find a way. I'll be back soon. You hang in there. Six Pistol. Hmm, pistol. I like that.
no weapon to kill just yet. Good luck.
Billy. She hate Charles. She, she hate the fucking key. This is it.
shit! You did it, Smoking Girl! Smoking Girl? You smoke those little death sticks, don't you? They're bad for you, they kill appetite. But that's your problem, not mine. Exactly. Look, there's a key in his stomach that I need to recover. Yes, the key. I'll get it out for you. How? See this knife? But wasn't Destiny the love of your life? And now you just want to gut her like a pig? I'm totally over her. Didn't you say that she broke your heart when she left? Time heals all wounds. Except those gunshot wounds you put in her, obviously. Those aren't going to heal. Oh, shut up. Just get that key, will you? Is this the key you were after? Why? Did you find more than one key in there? No, but I found a golden watch and I'm keeping it for myself. I don't care. Just give me the key. I'll see you again, smoking girl.
Hello? Hi, my name's Beth and I'm calling from Hopedale Medical Clinic. Am I talking to Angie Weather? Yes. Okay, that's great. Um, you came to us last week to run some tests. The results are in and... Are they okay? Dr. Matthews asked if you could come in. He'll explain everything. Wait, is something wrong? Am I ill? We don't give out this kind of information over the phone, I'm afraid. Let's arrange a visit, shall we? Can you make it this afternoon? Sorry, can you repeat? I can't hear you very well. I said... Draw an X on the door and come to me. What? I want to take a closer look. No one can help me. I think you might actually have a chance. I have a good feeling about you. It's your voice I heard on the phone, isn't it? Who are you? As you can see, I'm a cat. I used to have a lovely warm home. But one day, Andrea got sick. She came to Burnhouse Lane. I followed her, and I stayed. Where else can I go? Who's Andrea? She was my friend, of course. A long time ago. We both died in that fire, but I simply refused to accept it. Why am I here? This is where the sick come to die. Where else would you be? Are you sick too? No. I shouldn't really be here. But cats never obey the rules. Instead, sometimes I try to help poor souls like you. Because I know how to cure your cancer. This rotten sickness, slowly killing you from the inside. I can give you a fresh start, if you're willing to work for it, of course. There's no cure. There's nothing they can do. But there is something you can do, Angie. The cure's inside you. You just need to reach in and find it. But it will not be given easily. You must prove something to me first. Prove it to yourself. I don't have to prove anything to anyone. Of course. You're still in denial. You're hurting. That's to be expected. But hear me out, please. You must be aware of the dangers coming your way. 
What are you talking about? I'll give you five tasks. Complete them all, and you will live. First task is to bring an evil man here to Burnhouse Lane. You're going to meet him very soon. Don't let him lull you into a false sense of security, but make him follow you here instead. He won't come willingly, of course, so use the chalk you found to draw an X on the door. It'll take him straight to Burnhouse Lane if he walks through it. Here he will pay for his evil deeds. Go back now. A new day is coming. But... We'll meet again soon. But now, take the door. Go back. I believe old George will need your help. George?
Morning, dear. Looking for Joyce. Joyce! I need to talk to her rather urgently. Is she around? Who are you? Oh, you're not from around here, are you? How exciting. An outsider. We don't get a lot of outsiders around here. I'm Father Rob Collins. Lovely to meet you. And you either. Hi. So, where's Joyce? Joyce! Can I talk to you for a minute? Who's Joyce? You know, Joyce Garland. She's got this, uh, punk rocker look. Red hair on top, bold on the sides. Lots of piercings everywhere. She looks after old George. Oh, the carer. Why don't you just say so? Yeah, um, she's not here. Was in a car accident, apparently. Broke a leg, I think. I'm here covering for her while she gets better, but it might take her a few weeks before she's able to work again. Oh, no. No, no, no. This is just not good at all. What did you want from Joyce? It's... I'm afraid I'm not allowed to talk about it. I'm sure you understand that what's said in the confessional stays in the confessional. Go on. I won't tell anyone. Well, in that case... Okay. I... I just wanted to buy some of those special herbs from her. She's been growing them underground in her secret place. She wouldn't show me where. Only she knows. Oh. Okay, I get it. You're looking to buy some pot. Uh, sorry, just felt a little dizzy. My head's all funny. Take a deep breath, and you'll be fine. What? Trust me, I'm a nurse. I, um... What were we talking about? Morning, nurse. Morning, father. What? Another one? Who are you and how did you get in? That's just Kieran. Don't mind him. He lives on the farm and does the sheep. Quite literally, I've heard people say. Don't listen to that fool, nurse. He just likes to bully people, he does. Well, you're Welsh, right? And I've seen you around sheep. I'm a bloody shepherd. Of course I'm around sheep. He look after them. These poor creatures look absolutely terrified every time you get near them. That's exactly what I thought last time I came to your Sunday Mass, Father. And when was that, Kieran? Ten years ago? Twenty? Stop bickering, you two! What did you want, Kieran? Well, I was on my way to the sheep pen. To feed my sheep, not do anything horrible, right? So I'm walking through the east yard towards the house. I'm not too happy, because it's absolutely pissing with rain out there, and I can already feel I have water in my boots. But then guess what I see? Poor old George is sitting right on top of the barn. I called out to him, I said, Come on down, mate, you're gonna fall. But he just blanked me. So I thought, I, I can't deal with this. Because, really, I'm just here to look after the sheep. <laughs> Crazy old people are way above my pay grade. Shit. Isn't it your responsibility to keep an eye on George at all times, nurse? Leave me to the barn, Kieran. I'll deal with this. 
Let's all go. By the sound of it, this situation may call for some divine intervention. And the rain fell and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house. But it did not fall, because it had been found in the hole of the rock. Don't you tell us. You're the caretaker. George! Come down for goodness sake! See? Nobody listens to you, mate. And neither does George. He probably can't hear me from up there. Father Rob, any ideas? I wish the Almighty gave us angels' wings at times like this. But since he doesn't, I think I'll resort to the next best thing. Which is? I'll pray for his safety, dear. I guess it's better than nothing. Are you any good at climbing, Kieran? Oh no! I ain't going up there, nurse. I'm sorry. The planks are all rotten through. And those ladders? Well, they weren't built for a man of my stature. Oh, your weight. Can you just bugger off? I don't even eat much. I've got a fat gene from my mother. That makes my agility a wee low. So what? Oh, I've seen you step dancing at the village fest. No fat gene hindering you there. Fine. Last thing we need is you getting stuck on the roof as well. You're both useless. I'll get him. Good. That's what Joyce would do. Be careful up there.
Can you please give us a word of warning before you start dropping heavy objects from up there? I mean, it was a close one this time. Mind your heads down there. It's about to rain potatoes. Did the Christmas the Christmas Carol map? It, it looks uh, it's different than when it used to be. A lot different. Nice view. Mm -hmm. You can see for miles from up here. Bye. Do you mind if I sit down with you? Do sure. We'll get a wet bomb. It doesn't matter. I'm soaked through already. Okay. Yeah, I just play the... I just try the updates every time the update hits, you know. Try it out. I played the game for several hours. I think I got like 70 or 80 hours on it already. I just play it in small spurts when the updates. I'm just waiting for the game to get finished. I can actually sit down and play it. Tell me a story, George. You don't want to hear it. Yes, I do. Tell me about your life here. What was it like? Well... I've had a very good life on this farm. But... Uh, it took me a while to realize that. When I was young, I wanted to go out there and see the America that I knew from the movies. See the Wild West for myself. But... Well, he never did. It used to be my father's farm. And when he passed away, he left it to me. He was an angry man. Always shouting at people. Anyway, I was convinced I'd follow in his footsteps and live a, a mediocre yeah, life finished. I never wanted. It's, it's, it's going to be a while before Until it's finished. They just updated in spurts. So. It was the 4th of September, two years after Dad had passed away. I was on my tractor, heading up the hill to mend the fence, when I heard a crash. I stopped, suddenly. I got off, and I saw this bicycle, all crumpled up, sticking out right from under the tractor's front wheel. And I saw a lady's foot. Well, I had no idea at the time that six months later, we would marry that foot and its owner and that it would be the love of my life. Penny was her name. She was a new vet in town. And the most gorgeous woman I'd ever laid eyes on. I picked her up in my arms, my heart racing, ready to rush her into hospital. But she just smiled and said, Are you George Taylor? Or are you, you have a sheep that's poorly? <laughs> would you believe she was more concerned about the sheep than herself? Bless her. Uh, she really I looked at more honest. than anything. I just know I'm in the wild Luckily, west area. She wasn't was nearly as damaged area. as her bicycle. Just yeah, a couple of scratches and a sprained yeah. ankle. Which was quite extraordinary, considering she'd been hit by a bloody tractor. We waited for her, with a bouquet of flowers in my right hand, <laughs> and a box of chocolates in my left, right outside the hospital. We both knew that this was meant to be. 
My lovely darling Penny. I tell you, she turned my life upside down. The farm that I despised so much finally became a home. All of a sudden I couldn't care less about Wild West and the cowboys. Penny opened a veterinary clinic here. Then Sarah was born and we started a family. Life was good. But good lives don't last forever. They're always followed by the dark times. There was an accident one day. We had a lot more horses here back then. There was this one bad stallion. Derek, he was called. Nasty old thing. I had jumped and kicked Penny suddenly while she were giving it injections. And she just flew and hit her head on the wall. She didn't die straight away. I was in the hospital with her for three days, watching the life in her slowly drain away. She was only 42. That's too young to go. Too young. But hey, look at me rambling on. Oh, I didn't mean to bore you with my old man's stories. See you back at the house, dear. Who is up with this old codger? Holy crap. How the hell did you do that? Mmm, that's a nice cup of tea. It'll warm you up, George. You'll be all right. Of course he'll be all right. He's a tough bloke. He wrestled bears and punched wolves back in his days. Isn't that right, George? Oh, we don't know about the bears, Kieran. Where's Father Rob? He said he was going to look around. Yeah? I bet he's snooping again. Why are you here, Kieran? What do you mean? I live here. <laughs> Not in this house, you don't. But I've known George for a long time. We're all pals. He doesn't mind. You don't mind, do you, George? Oh, I don't mind, Kieran. Well, if George doesn't mind, then neither do I, I guess. You can stay. I mean, as long as you don't sneak up on people, or, like, murder me. I won't murder you. Nah, too much trouble getting rid of the body. <laughs> Besides, let's just be friends, for George's sake. I'm not looking for enemies. I tell you what, I'll cook dinner for everyone first, and then we'll shoot some bottles. How about that? Oh, so you can cook too? Hell yeah, I can. I make a smash and roast lamb with Brussels sprouts and mint sauce and all. George loves it, but there's no oven in my caravan, so we'd have to cook here. I don't know, Kieran. I think we could all use a proper meal after a morning like this. But I'm going to need some cooking wine. I doubt there's any here. George has always been a sherry kind of guy. Someone say sherry. Yeah. There's a bottle of red in my caravan. Could you get it for me, please? Why can't you get it yourself? A dinner like this is a lot of work. I'll never make it on time if I don't get started on the vegetables straight away. Plus, ah, the old legs hurt him, like a son of a bitch. And you'll be walking that way anyway. Joyce always does, this time of day. To do what? To feed Richard some carrots. Richard? The horse. He lives in the box just outside the big barn.
carrots, you say? Are you sure Richard's not a rabbit? All horses love carrots. Don't you know that? Um, yeah, sure. Of course I knew that. You go in then, because I'm sure Richard's starving. Richard. That must be the worst horse name I've ever heard. Well, I always say you should be called Vicious instead. Why's that? Does he bite? We have a love-hate relationship, me and Richard. Every time I pass by his box, he looks like he'd love to rip my head off and kick it like a football. A horse playing football. Now that would be a sight to behold. I'll go then. Anything else I should do while I'm there? Milk the cows? Harvest the crops? No. Just get the wine and give Richard some carrots so he can love you forever. Okay. But you better watch George while I'm gone. I won't let him out of my sight, nurse. What are you even doing here? Are you deaf? That man's gonna turn you into dinner. Run! Uh, oh, we're not eating, Midge. There's lamb meat in the freezer, silly. Oh, right. Then, I guess you can relax, Midge. Just don't look in the freezer.